let's talk about tunnel vision. This is how we lose track. And many mistake this for what I'm teaching it has nothing to do with what I'm teaching. It's not the kind of mindfulness that, I, that will help bring your team together. It's not what I promote. You know, you're looking down the barrel of the gun. You've got your target. You're only looking in one direction. It's very tight. It's very focused. And it's actually really hard work to tune things out. It may not feel like that to you, but I guarantee you a lot of your mental and emotional and, and even physical energy is going into tuning things out. You know, take for example ADHD, leaving aside where it comes from, which is more complicated than we want to get into in this uh, course, but it's just, it's constantly switching, switching one's focus. So it's sort of a gun barrel that's waving around. And it's the constant disruption to forward progress that, that anyone with ADHD knows well, that's so frustrating, it's so agonizing. But ADHD is just a stronger version of what most of us face. Our gun barrel is waving around wildly like that. And the truth is we're, we're losing track of the larger context. You know, we ask ourselves, well, where do I need to point my gun barrel now, my attention now? Where does it need to go right now, and now, and now? You, can you feel the anxiety in that? It, you know, having to figure this out every second? I guarantee you it's much easier for you to relax and open up into the full set of channels given to you so you can actually catch things coming in from the side, catch things in your peripheral vision. You could call that the Zen style approach. Again, it's this sort of Zen training. You wouldn't be wrong to call it that. And this is what we're going to work on together. So what is happening outside tunnel vision? Here's where you get the other cues of what's going on. You know, first you were just looking in one direction. Now you can attune to the full context and act accordingly. You know, what you find out maybe is you're late for the meeting because you had this booked wrong in your calendar. Maybe what you find out is these two are really nervous going into this situation. You know, what's going on with him? What's going on with her? How are you guys going to feel as a team walking into that meeting? Now, I know some of you are saying, you know, I can't focus on everything at the same time. And listen, you won't. Your natural communication system will take care of that for you. It's automatic, and it comes from a very deep place in you. If you practice, and I, I'm definitely wagging my finger at you, I guarantee you'll begin to see some results by the end of this course in terms of feeling more naturally able to prioritize and take in information as needed live in the situation. So tunnel vision can come from different directions. It can come from body sensations that we're not accurately in connection with. So maybe you have some sort of body problem going on. Maybe you've got pain. Maybe your leg went to sleep in the middle of the meeting. Maybe you didn't get enough sleep. And instead of actually tuning in and realizing this is coming from my body, it's very easy to roll this into some sort of mental or emotional situation in a kind of sloppy way. Because I'm not paying attention to the fact that I'm having heartburn that's upsetting me, I just start to get upset at people. And I think that I'm actually irritated, but actually I'm just having discomfort. So tuning in to your awake body allows you to subvert that kind of wasted interpretive energy and stay with what's really going on with the real people in front of you. We can get tunnel vision from emotions as well. And this is where we're not holding our emotions within a balanced awareness of our total system. And we can no longer tell whether they're accurate or biased. And we just buy into them compulsively. This is a real problem. And we can also get tunnel vision from thought patterns. So 
we're not holding our thought patterns in that larger awareness. And we start to ignore what's outside the box of what we were already thinking, our agendas and our biases. This is a, this is a very serious problem. This is a huge inhibitor to creativity. It's you know a huge inhibitor to problem solving. So what's the better option? We're better off in a balanced state with our entire capacity online. And if we have full awareness of awake body, tender heart, and open mind, we are getting data in real time as things change. That's the best possible method to move forward. Now, the key to beating tunnel vision, you just spread your awareness into your natural communication system. It's very straightforward. It's easy to say, but it's hard to do unless you train. So there's a metaphor I like to use, this idea of blowing up the balloon, spreading that awareness. You expand your awareness into the places that you've lost touch with. And this is a process, you know, you could use this metaphor in a moment, in a meeting, and imagine yourself slowly blowing that balloon open into, like, is it, is it opening up your emotional capacity? Is it opening up your mind? Is it putting you in touch with your, with your senses, with your sense of touch, with your hearing, with your seeing? Is it all coming back online? Move into all those areas. Because honestly, without your natural communication system, look at that thing. You're a half inflated balloon. It's not what anyone needs. Look at that flabby, dirty thing. There's nothing useful about being halfway there. Allowing ourselves to be all the way there is so rich and satisfying. It's absolutely worth it. So that's the thing. Our natural communication system that we've been working with, it's happening now. It's always happening now. 